pipelines are used to transfer products between the jetty and the storage tanks. Oil pipelines are made from steel or plastic tubes. The oil is moved through the pipelines by pumps and routed by valves. Lengths of pipe are connected by wells or bolted flanges. Static electricity is generated when a low conductivity fuel like petrol flows in a non-conductive pipe. A buildup of static charge is a potential danger when transferring fuel. Fuel running through the pipes can provide the friction needed to create a static charge. Bonding wires are used on the flanges along the pipeline to ensure electrical continuity. This valve, without a wheel or handle, is probably a non-return valve. This is one example of how a non-return valve works. These valves are used to prevent the flow of liquid backward in a pipeline if that direction of flow is not desired. Flanges are connected with the correct size bolts, nuts, and washers in all of the flange holes. The gaskets used in the pipeline must be appropriate for the size of pipeline and also for the products and rates of transfer. The bolts are tensioned as prescribed by design and service of the pipeline. Expansion loops are placed in pipelines to enable the pipelines to contend with thermal expansion and contraction and other forces that can affect the pipeline. They are typically placed in gas pipelines, irrespective of when the gas is hot or cold, natural gas or steam. Pipelines are corroded by the elements and man-made wear and tear on the outside and eroded by the friction of the fast-moving liquid on the inside. The thickness of pipelines must be inspected regularly. Pipelines move, especially during the tank draining stage of a discharge. The pipelines will almost certainly move if the emergency shutdown system is activated. Regular inspection of the securing and anchor points of the pipeline is required. And any maintenance to adjust the securing arrangements must be completed expeditiously. Any underwater parts of the terminal pipeline must be inspected.